All right, call this equal time. Last week, we shared with you the Farmer's Almanac winter predictions. Now its main competitor, the old Farmer's Almanac, is releasing its predictions today. You got to be fair. Mm -hmm. So in fairness, and new this morning, John Shumway is here with its predictions. Hey, John. Hey, and the Old Farmer's Almanac, like its competitor, is conceding that this past winter they under it underperformed their forecast of above normal snowfall. But this year, according to the Old Farmer's Almanac, is shaping up very different. When it comes to weather forecasting, the Old Farmer's Almanac uses climatology, meteorology, and sunspots in 11-year cycles. We have so much more data. We can go back and look at other, the eighth year of the cycle or the seventh year and, and marry up a lot of that data and, and very accurately predict those long range forecasts. And the Almanac's editor, Carol Conair, says this year. With the El Nino, you're going to see a lot more snow and a lot more cold. The Almanac can get pretty specific. The December 23rd Steelers game, which is in late December, and there's a pretty, that's a home game. There's a pretty good chance it'll be snowy and cold, actually. Cold that extends into January with snow early in the month. A brief break then. 16th through the 27th, snowy and cold. And Carol says bundle up if you're headed to Gobbler's Knob. February 1st through 4th, snow. A sunny break after that, but not for long. Um, into the middle of February, again, you're going to be having some rainy and wet weather. The Old Farmer's Almanac says there's even some snow in mid-March. Good news about March snow is it doesn't last long. And as for viewing the eclipse April the 8th? We have predicted here for you rainy and cold, so that doesn't bode well. But I think, you know, that's, that's where we hope we're wrong for you. <laughs> Yeah, because we all want to see the eclipse. Now, the Old Farmer's Almanac dates back to 1792, and they print 3 million copies a year, and I understand it is incredibly popular in the Pittsburgh region. And it's so interesting that they, they can pinpoint or they try to pinpoint yeah. these specific dates. Right. So how accurate is it? Like, can we trust it? Well, that depends on who you ask. Conair tells me that they are 80% accurate. Now, Geyer last week told me Farmer's Almanac accuracy is way up there, too. But studies have been done on the forecast for both of these, and they generally come out saying it's about in the 50% range. So, yeah. you know what? Yeah. My money is on Ron Smiley. Oh, I absolutely. Think, I think so, too. <laughs> absolutely. Stick with the science of our, our first side. alert meteorologist. No Sounds way. like a good idea. All right, John, as Thanks, always, John. we thank you.